Well, thanks to my brother who told me about Banksy during Christmas. I was like, holy shit. And I was like, no, it can't be him. So I got to work and of course posted on Facebook, of which then I got immediate responses of Banksy is in town for his premiere and I had to confirm it with my big brother who confirmed it as a Banksy. Yeah. So. I know that no one knows who he is. <laughs> I just know he does really good like like wall art that looks very um, interactive and then he uses the space really well. Good concept. Though. Yeah. First time I was aware of him I was walking the streets of London and going like holy shit. Yeah. This. No I just always have been drawn to it. I stencil so I I don't know I think that he's probably my favorite or my biggest inspiration as far as stenciling goes. Uh, he's the best. I've been I, I, I it's my first time in San Francisco and um, I've always wanted to see some of his art, just like run into it, you know? So it's kind of a treat. I mean, it's mysterious, and that's what I like about it the most. I know that uh, he did uh, some famous work and kind of walked in some places and did some neat stuff on some walls. Uh, he's a really talented stencil artist as well. I mean, I've been shooting graffiti for a while now and he does some of the, some of the best, most innovative stuff that I've seen. I think the relevancy in the things that he says, uh, you know, obviously like this piece, you know, is, is an excellent representation because the piece in LA I believe was only there for a couple of hours before it got swiped and you know I was saying when we were driving over here god I really hope it's still there I really hope it's still there because this is really meant for the public you know and it's like they keep getting swiped before you get there so. I've known Banksy since he was before people started finding out about him and he had a website and I stumbled on it and um, that was when he was working mostly out of like uh, Birmingham and just places in England and everything. This is before he did the Palestinian wall or came to the States. I think he's like talking about really serious issues and and, and the fact that he uses humor to do it makes, makes it, you know, something that people are more willing to listen to. And I'm a person who I feel like things have gotten so serious that the only way you can look at them is, is with humor. And so to find an artist that does that and that does it in this way is, is incredible to me.